It is a quick and easy recipe, perfect for game day. Here to share his delicious hummus, we welcome back caterer and cooking instructor, Chef Stephen Havens. Great to see you. Good to see you again as well. Hummus, Thanks so much for having me. Everyone loves hummus. Oh, yeah. And what's great about it, especially for game day, you don't know who all is going to be there. Yes. But it's vegetarian and vegan. So regardless, Beautiful. it's also delicious. So uh, it's great for any type of big crowd. So um, I'm just going to jump right in. Okay. We've already got a couple of cans of chickpeas in there or garbanzo beans, whichever. Okay. Um, you want to get rid of the juice from all of one can and half of the other can. So you have just a little bit of the juice okay. still in there. Okay. Okay. We're going to add <coughs> about a tablespoon of olive oil into this. Now this is a really great base recipe that you can add lots of other things to as well. Sure. One of the most important is your tahini. So right. go with a good quality tahini. Okay. And you'll add about a third of a cup to this. Hummus is really easy to make. If you haven't made it before, it kind of seems intimidating because most people just buy it in a package at the store, but mm -hmm. you can just whip it up so quickly. It's very simple, and most of the things that you would be putting in here, you can get Probably right from your staple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the only thing that you might not have is tahini, but yeah. tahini, once you get it, is like peanut butter. It'll last for a good long time. Beautiful. In your pantry. So we're just adding a little bit of um, a hot sauce just to wake it up just a little bit. Ooh. Some lemon juice okay. into there. A good bit of garlic. You Yum. can Make it as garlic forward as you want, or, you know, take it easy on your guests, depending on how you oh, like it. My guests are getting all the garlic. I love it. <laughs> There's no holding back. All right. So we're just going to give this about a minute in there. Okay. And while that is going, I like to serve it with some crudite. That way, on game day, you've got some vegetables instead of just lots of unhealthy things. On the record, <laughs> there are vegetables in the room. <laughs> Um, and some wheat thins, not going to be gluten-free, but you could add some gluten-free yeah, options Yeah, take them or leave them, yeah. And then we're going to garnish it today with some za'atar, which is a delicious um, uh, Middle Eastern flavoring, Yum. and some smoked paprika, just Beautiful. a little bit of olive oil on top. This is a great base recipe. Um, I love to add in roasted garlic. Yum. Roasted red peppers. There's all yes. sorts of add-ins that you can add in there. You can make it super colorful and Absolutely. take the flavor any direction. Yep. And then um, my herb garden was killed in the ice storm oh. that we had. Otherwise, we'd be having some fresh oregano on there, maybe yes. some fresh mint. All of that can go on what there. What a casualty, the I herb know, garden. I know. Come on now. It'll come back. It'll come back. It'll come back. It's okay. Portland. It definitely will come back. Look at that. I know. Quick and easy. <clears throat> so you'll just spoon this in here. Beautiful. Um, give it a little bit of a garnish on top. Oh, that smells so good. And it will keep for about a week in the refrigerator. Oh, so, I love that. Uh, once you make it, you've got it for a okay. while. Okay. And I like to do just a touch of olive oil. Yum. And then a little bit of za'atar and smoked paprika and make it look really nice. There you go. And you are all done. This is beautiful. And I always have people ask me why I put a twig into my hummus, but. I was going to say, <laughs> can you see how cool this spoon is? It's a gift from a friend. I love that. That spoon. is so awesome. That's very Pacific <laughs> so Northwest. Help Try I need to get a little here. Do you scoop? Do you go Whatever. right in? If you want to scoop, you can. Whatever you Whatever want. Whatever makes your heart mm -hmm. happy. I love yep. a cucumber. Mm. Nice, refreshing. That's so easy. Yeah, so easy. And the longer you let it blend, it'll smooth out a little bit more. Okay. Keep it blending for about two minutes. It'll be real nice and smooth for you. I like the texture, though. Does it kind of depend on... How you like it. I like the crunchy hummus. Yeah, Is that so weird? No, not at all. <laughs> and if you leave a little bit more of the uh, juice from the canned beans in there, right. it'll get a little bit smoother. So a little bit thicker or thinner yeah. based on how thick or thin you Do you, you ever want. add nuts or anything else? I, for this, I try not to because it is sure. a gluten-free, uh, vegan, Keeping vegetarian. Keeping it friendly for any for dietary anyone. restrictions. Exactly. Yeah. Goes great with lamb if you have some lamb. You, if you've got leftovers, you can start so with lamb. Good. Maybe some uh, pita for pita pockets. Yep. That's and I know do. my kids will eat some veggies from this tray if there is a <laughs> yummy dip involved. And a lot more uh, healthy than blue cheese Absolutely. or ranch. Absolutely <laughs> delicious. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Great it's to my see pleasure. you. Good to see you again as well. Happy January. Happy football season. Yeah, thanks. Good reason to snack. Uh, All right, we'll have this recipe and more information about Chef Steven on our website at katu.com. And we'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.